All right, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different from my usual ones. Um, I was working on uh, putting together some figures in MuseScore uh, for my thesis, and uh, there was trying to notate uh, some examples where um, we have different time signatures that are going on at once. So we have this accompaniment line for a fiddle tune. It's a fiddle tune by Oliver Schroer named Horseshoes and Rainbows. And the main tune is in 2-2, two -two, but we've got this accompaniment line and um, we can re-notate it to kind of highlight that there's this kind of 9-8 moment that goes on. Um, later in the piece, uh, we've got this thing where we've got like a 9-4 thing running on in behind. And um, after looking at uh, a whole bunch of uh, forum posts and troubleshooting, I discovered that it is, um, while it's a bit fiddly to put them together, uh, it's not impossible. And so I figured I'd uh, make a quick rough recording, uh, just screenshot of how I put them together um, in the hope that it would be useful uh, to other people. Um, yeah, in case it is useful, this is the version of MuseScore that I'm using and this is my operating system. Um, all right, so our, our first example here, we want to take, uh, we've got two different uh, like notations of the same notes. These are all the same notes, like pitches and durations, but it would be nice if, say, this note aligned with this one because they are the same note happening at the same time. Um, and so in order to do this, let's drag this to the side. What we're going to do um, is, uh, so I need to set the uh, time signatures uh, in this particular example, I'm going to set the time signatures for the renotated line. And then what I'm going to do at the end, uh, so I'm going to set them at the lower part. And then after that, what I'm going to do is hide the time signatures uh, in the upper part and hide some bar lines, add in some extra bar lines. Um, and that uh, should have the desired effect. So uh, we're going to add some time signatures. We have one measure of one four. Actually, let's... Page settings, I think we want landscape. Okay. Okay, one measure of one four. Uh, we want three measures of nine eight and a measure of three four. So uh, not three four three eight. And then we want uh, two measures of two two at the end. And if we take the accompaniment line um, and hopefully this should align properly. We have the right, uh, very good, it seems to align. Okay, so we're going to put this in both parts. And so uh, our bottom part is fine. Let's maybe renotate this as a dotted quarter, uh, but uh, it no longer shows in the upper part that we've got this like continuing two two. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, the time signatures. So uh, by right clicking and saying edit, edit element, I can uh, edit just the upper one of these. And I'm going to set it as invisible. Um, select this, edit element, set it to invisible, element invisible. And what I'm also going to do is um, Let's separate the bar lines so that bar lines are different for the upper and lower staves. And we want to get rid of uh, some of the bar lines. So I'm going to press V to make these extra bar lines invisible. And I think that's what we need. When we're back to 2-2, uh, we'll need those bar lines again. And so now we want to add in some like cosmetic bar lines. And so we've got four quarter notes up to the end of here. So by selecting the note and clicking, I can insert a bar line ahead of it. Um, I believe it's before this one. And what I'm going to do is select this note and just have it be on its own so that the stem doesn't go across, uh, the beam doesn't go across the bar line. I think we need another one here. And I, I think we have uh, put it together. So let's export this. Um, save it as PNG images and exp 
export and let us see whether it turned out all right. Uh, yeah, so um, we've got two, two only in the top. Uh, we've got our changing time signatures in the bottom. The notes align up with each other. Um, as we can see that the spacing uh, is a little bit wonky. Uh, we've got some big spaces between things, but at least they line up top to bottom. So um, this is this was an example where we had like the same durations happening in both parts, but all the notes lined up together. The other version that I struggled to figure out was this one, where we have uh, two different time signatures going on at once, that we have these nine evenly spaced notes spanning the like four half note beats of the top parts. So and we wanna have uh, different bar lines for the top and bottom and the different time signatures. So let's see if we can put this together. Um, we'll take this, I'm going to set this to landscape again. And so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to renotate. Um, it's easier to add bar lines in than to remove bar lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this time signature and make it 4-2. What we're going to do is we're going to later on divide each of these single measures of 4-2 into two measures of 2-2 two, two in the upper parts. But then we can uh, renotate. We can have like uh, a 9-4 time signature going on in the space of this 4-2 in the lower part. Um, so we should, eight bars should end at the end of our like four double bars. And uh, I'm going to try a thing just to make sure, to see if we can do some copying and pasting. Um, it is a bit tricky copying and pasting when you have these different uh, time signatures going on in different parts um, that sometimes it crashes. We'll see whether this happens. Okay, so we've got, um, this is where the, where they all realign. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the time signature in just the bottom staff to uh, nine four. Um, so let us, what we're going to do is we're going to press uh, control, uh, it's, it's command for a Mac. Uh, we're going to press and hold command and we're going to click and drag into the measure uh, that we want to apply it. And as we can see, we've got just nine four here uh, in the lower part, but uh, four two in the upper parts. Um, now we're going to go ahead and copy what our melody is. Um, and hopefully that works. And we have our uh, originally notated with the tuplets. We're going to put it in here. And let us see if we can copy. These bits will be the same. Uh, and we've crashed the system. <laughs> All right. Um, let's, let's reopen and s pick up the pieces. What do we have? Okay. So let us, uh, let us not try to paste into uh, something where we've like, got the local time signature change. Uh, what do we need to reset? Okay. This is, we need to resize. Okay, so we we want to make this a 9-4 uh, command, click and drag into the lower part, and let us do our copying and pasting into just the upper parts. The lower part. And, and now what we want to do is we want to renotate uh, this lower part in um, in our our nine four time signature. So we should be able to we go note entry. We should be able to get one two three four five six seven eight nine notes evenly spaced in uh, in the in the lower part, and those will be uh, evenly spaced for like the the full measures up above, even though they only have eight quarter notes in the upper ones. Um, so we just have to enter these. Uh, let's very quickly, we'll have E, B, G, C, A, G, E, A, G, D, A, F sharp, D, B, F sharp, B, C, D. And let's uh, 
set them to their right octaves. So uh, yeah, we, we could go right to the end, but I, I think we've got enough here. Um, so now we've got our nine evenly spaced notes at the bottom. We've like renotated this without using our tuplets, but in our upper parts, we want to uh, have them notated in 2-2 two -two rather than 4-2. And so we will select edit element. And what we can do is we can go into the properties. We've selected just the upper one, properties, and we want the, even though it is technically 4-2, we want it to appear as though it's 2-2. Two -two. And we see that that change has been made. Let's edit element for the next one. It's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Okay. And now we've got to add in bar lines. And so again, we can select the notes uh, by pressing command. I can select multiple notes. Let's go into the bottom as well. Um, and by clicking on this, we should be able to insert notes in ahead. Um, so yeah, we have a, a notated version where we've got two twos running along at the same time as like a single measure of nine four. Um, let's export this and see what the results are. And so yeah, um, this is the result. So um, anyways, I hope uh, people found this uh, work through useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, if you found this helpful, I'm always happy to hear about it. So you can comment about that as well if you'd like. Um, thank you. And uh, yeah, hope this is useful.